can be made too much of if it's not a sellout crowd, which is not expected given what's happened. So many people, I'm sure, just following it on television, but it's still a huge moment for New York City and in particular the New York Mets fans. Well, I think fans, just like everybody else in the country, is still sort of shaken by what was going on and, and everybody trying to find their way back to where they feel comfortable doing the normal things that everybody does. And certainly sports and all entertainment, which is basically what sports is. It's a wave of entertainment. Uh, they'll find that way back soon. Okay, I think we have the ceremonies now live. Let's take you to Shea Stadium. Good men and good women here who are not standing by, and they are... Everybody is thinking about is what you're about to see, the ceremony on the field here at Shea Stadium, one that everyone hopes will begin to heal the very injured psyche of this great city. And outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Tonight we come together for the first regular season professional sporting event in New York City since Tuesday, September 11th. We return to our national pastime, in part to show that America can and will go on. But before we begin our game, we will pause to remember the victims of those terrible attacks, their families, and the thousands of rescue workers, volunteers, and good Samaritans who have shown that America can be at her best in the most difficult of times. Our colors tonight are being presented by a joint color guard consisting of New York's police department, fire department, emergency medical service, Port Authority Police, and the New York State Court Officers Association. Five agencies that lost rescue personnel when the World Trade Center towers collapsed. by the NYPD Pipers and a rifle team from the United States Marine Corps 6th Communication Battalion based in Brooklyn, New York.
ladies and gentlemen, here to honor our nation with the singing of God Bless America is Miss Diana Ross. Miss Ross is accompanied by the North Fort High School Choir and the Christ Tabernacle Choir from Brooklyn. Choir and the Christ Tabernacle Choir of Brooklyn. In center field, we welcome 34 midshipmen of the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy in Kings Point, Long Island, who are presenting the giant U.S. flag for tonight's ceremony. Now entering from center field are groups representing many of the brave, committed men and women who've been working long, difficult hours as part of the rescue efforts going on at the World Trade Center. Please welcome members of the NYPD, New York Fire Department, Port Authority Police Department, New York State Court Officers, the San Francisco Fire Department Station 1, National Disaster Medical System, d -Mort. New York Hospital in Queens. St. John's Queens Hospital. Mary Immaculate Hospital, EMS Division. And New York University Downtown Hospital. These rescue workers are joining the midshipmen around the giant flag in the same way that Americans from all walks of life have come together to help in the wake of these tragic events. At this time, we ask that you please direct your attention to Diamond Vision for a special message from the New York Mets to be followed by a moment of silence and 21-gun salute in memory of those who are no longer with us. Every American was shocked by the disastrous events of September 11th. But for New Yorkers, this attack was even more personal. Many of us have families where other loved ones that were touched by the tragedy. And all of us know someone among the thousands of brave, committed volunteers and rescue personnel who have come together in Lower Manhattan. And at this time, we ask that you please rise, remove your caps, 
and join us in a moment of silent reflection and prayer in memory of the victims. In support of their families and on behalf of everyone who has been hurt by these attacks. Please remain standing for the singing of the Star Spangled Banner, which was written by Francis Scott Key 187 years ago today. Our national anthem will be performed tonight by Mark Anthony. the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free an emotional night Don here at Shea Stadium for all of us involved the players down in the field those of us up here in the booth these many thousands of fans that have assembled and what we hope tonight can happen is that this little baseball game which is really 
a very insignificant thing in the grand scheme of things can help be a part of the healing process. One step back and in a uh, show of solidarity that I think is now what we're seeing almost everywhere around our country in every walk of life, the two teams meeting in the middle of the field. Never seen that before. More to come from Shea Stadium after this timeout. <laughs> 